Howler Bike Co. I'm at uh, Stroller Coaster here at Howler Bike Park, uh, and today I want to talk to you about my Forbidden Dreadnought. So uh, this new trusty steed is my brand new rig. I'm super excited about it. Uh, took me a lot of time to decide um, exactly what did I what I wanted this thing to to be like, to look like. Um, and even what frame size I should go with. So uh, I want to talk a little bit in depth about this and uh, the Forbidden Dreadnought uh, as a whole. So let's get into it. Uh, just kind of general overview of this bike. Um, this is, like I said, a Forbidden Dreadnought. That's the coolest name of any bike. Um, you can leave an argument in the comments, but we won't even respond because you're wrong. Um, this is a size small. I'm 5'9". Um, I grew up riding BMX, and uh, after staring endlessly at geometry charts, um, I decided to go with a small over a medium. Um, right now, it's been like three months that I've been riding it. So far, super happy with the size. Um, I would like to try a medium just to see the differences, but right now, small does the trick. Um, I do have it with the Ziggy Link, which makes it a mullet. So, um, 27.5 in the rear, 29 in the front. Um, really like this setup. I'm personally just not a big fan of full 29ers. It could be my short little legs that get always slapped in the butt with stuff. So um, I don't like getting buzzed. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the general overview of the bike. Um, the cockpit, I went with the new Tidal Reform handlebars. Um, I've always been a fan of Tidal and the new handlebars looked really cool. Um, they've definitely got some advanced technology um, and I'm pretty stoked on that. So uh, went with those handlebars, went with the 40 mil tidal stem. Uh, I moved over my TRP DHR Evos and the gold, I moved those over from another bike. Um, so far, TRPs have been my absolute favorite brakes. Um, they've got the power when you need it, they've got some modulation, they're not just like a harsh stop immediately. Um, really, really am stoked about TRP brakes. Um, to complement the brakes, I threw on the TRP drivetrain. It's something I haven't ran before. I've ran SRAM and Shimano uh, many times. Wanted to try something out, let customers know how we feel about it. Um, right now, I really, really like it. Um, the setup was super easy. Um, it's quiet. I like the shifting. It's pretty smooth. Um, feels good. Uh, my only gripe with it is the actual uh, shifter is pretty bulky. Um, that's really my only gripe, otherwise it's super solid. Um, I've got my Axis dropper, honestly, don't hate me. I'm not a big on Axis. Um, I like cable drive trains, but I will never get another dropper. These Axis droppers are sick. Um, they pop up immediately. Um, they're smooth, rarely ever have to service it. I pretty much forget to charge my battery all the time and nothing really happens. So. Um, super stoked on the Axis dropper. Uh, to complement it, grabbing some Census grips, Census lights, best in the game. Um, I don't run really any other grips now. Um, then for the fork, I've got the brand new RockShox Zeb uh, 17029er. Uh, it is the ultimate, so I've got the new uh, dampening system. Um, right now, uh, it feels decently similar to last year's Zeb. Um, I do know that it is much quieter. Um, not something that I would have ever griped about with any other forks, um, but at least now it's even quieter. Um, when you notice it, I guess it's pretty cool. Um, I do like the simplicity of the adjustments. It's very easy to get it set up for you um, and you can kind of tune it from there. But it just, it, the fork is all around really good. Um, we'll probably do an in-depth video on it uh, here in the next couple months once we get some more testing on it. Um, but so far, the new RockShox Zeb, definitely my favorite fork I've ever ran. Um, but I've always been a Zeb fan uh, once they came out. <laughs> Front and rear, I've got Continental tires, the new ones. Um, I've got the Crypt, Cryptotal, Cryptotal, Crypt, whatever, um, and then the Xylophone in the rear. Um, and uh, I really like these tires. Um, they roll, uh, the rear rolls really quick. Um, the front uh, has the bite that I need. It's kind of like the perfect setup for me right now. Um, I've been really happy with it so far. Um, I don't have a ton of miles on them, but again, pretty new bike, so a lot of this stuff I'm getting used to. Um, but I definitely enjoy the, the, these tires so far. 
I went with the RockShox Super Deluxe Air Shock. Wanted to make this bike a little bit more playful. Uh, dreadnoughts are very planted, so wanted to kind of make it a little more playful with anything I could. Adding the Air Shock just helps with that. I've ran coils for a long time uh, recently, so I just wanted to mix it up a little bit. Nothing too crazy with that. Uh, DDT Max, the best pedals. They will get you insane amount of grip. Uh, big platform, definitely one of my favorite pedals. Um, something I get asked a lot about is my cranks. They are 5 dev cranks. Uh, it's an awesome company, machine stuff. They make really nice looking bits, but uh, these are 145 length. I want to try something different. They're pretty short, uh, but it feels really good. I feel like I can control the whole back end of the bike super easily uh, with the short cranks. It's just definitely a different ride. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, moving back, uh, I got the SRAM 10 to 50 tooth cassette GX. Uh, it works with the TRP drivetrain. Really happy with it. Um, yeah, that's kind of the, the bits on this bike. Um, so far, my first impressions are that this bike is the best bike I've ever owned. Um, pretty much once you get on it, you can feel the potential of the bike. Um, being the high pivot, it's definitely kind of a, a weirder feel once you start going, but um, once you kind of take a little time, get used to it, the, the bike rewards um, speed. Um, it is easy to jump. That was something that I was always reading, like researching, was like how playful is this bike going to be? Can it jump? Um, and everybody was saying yes, you know, it, it's not necessarily built for that, but it, it jumps really well. It definitely um, takes chunk the best. It, it excels in going down steep, rocky, rooty terrain. and. Uh, I'm not necessarily that good at that, so it's fun to have the bike push me because um, it can do infinitely more than I can. So it's, it's nice to have a rig that is, is very, very capable. So um, it's made me a better rider already, which is exciting, and that's really what you want out of a new bike. Um, so far, the Dreadnought is seriously the best bike I've ever had. Um, we are stoked on this company. They're awesome. If you um, want us to hook you up with the Dreadnought, just call, send an email, check our website, whatever, whatever you need to do. Um, we'd love to get you guys set up with one of these so we can all rip together out here at Howard. Appreciate it, guys. See you next time.